Hi Dresser Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Nancy Wheeler from Stranger Things. So let's get started. To draw cute Nancy, let's first start by drawing her eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a circle. And I'm going to come right next to it, say about this wide, and draw another circle. So now my circle's in, let's make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom and same thing over here. So now with my eyes in, I'm going to come to the tops right here and I'm going to draw a curve right over the eye. Same thing right here, just kind of going down. I just feel like her eyes kind of go downwards. <laughs> so I just feel like I need to put that curve right there. And then from there, add some lashes right at the top, just simple lashes right there. And then let's go above her eye, about right here to draw her brow. And we're just going to straighten it out and kind of angle downwards almost. And we'll just go ahead and thicken it up slightly. And same thing over here. So about right here. So just kind of straight and then going down. There. And then let's give her a smile. So about right here. Just going to go a soft curve and slightly goes upwards and cap it off. There. Thicken this up a little bit more. Okay, so then now that we have that, let's go ahead and frame her face. So I'm going to come right next to her eye where we started, really close to the lashes. About right here, give myself a point. Same thing right here. And then we're basically going to draw a bottom of a U. But I'm going to try to angle a little bit more because she does have a really thin face. So let's come right here. And I'll find my center, say about right here. Just kind of imagining it coming through. About right there, I'm just going to go ahead and angle towards that point. And same thing here. So straighten out a little bit where her chin is and then go up. And angle in. There. Definitely very fragile, right? <laughs> Okay, so then now that we have that in, we can go ahead and um, draw her hair. So just imagining this as an oval and say about right here, her hair parts on the side a little bit because she does have bangs, but I'll just say about right here, I'll give myself a point. Just imagining this as an oval. And about right here, I'm gonna start on this side. I'm gonna curve, curl down one strand and just kind of curl and come down. Then on this side, we're going to come down on the other way. So really close to her brow. We're just gonna curve some of these strands up and down. And about right here, I'll just go ahead and once again, just taper it in. There. So just zigzag some curves. Then from there, let's come back to this area and Say right about here, I'll put in a curve for her ear. So same thing on the other side. I'm just gonna tuck her ear about right there. So then now let's go up. Her hair parts about right here. So uh, let's say about right here. Even add a, you can make this a strand if you like for some details. But about right here, I'm just gonna go up and up nice and full and we're going to bring this down and curve as we come down so 
to this side right here. And then start curling as we come down. So we'll finish the rest of her hair later. Let's come back and draw her body. So right in the center, say, let's see about right here. And here, we give her a little neck and then come down at an angle for her shoulders. About right there. And I'll stop about right there because she does have these poofy sleeves. So let's come back about right here, draw a curve, and then we're gonna put in a collar right in the center. And then she has this little outfit, this little jacket that she's wearing. So I'm gonna come about right here and curve. Curve out. So then let's see here, let's keep bringing this down. And we're just gonna kind of flare it out. And we wanna put her waist about right here. So let's bring this down a little bit more. And then about in this area, about right here, here, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a soft curve. So it's where her waist is gonna start. So her jacket's gonna end about right there. So let's come back to about right here. And we're just gonna connect on both sides. From there, let's come back to this area about right here, kind of like where her armpit area would be, but this is kind of overlapping it. So we're gonna come about right here and just draw an angle line to right there. And then we're just gonna connect for her jacket. So same thing over here. Okay, so then now that we have that, we can finally go ahead and draw her waist. So let's come back in this area right here and here. And before we finish this part, let's come back into the center and we're going to draw a little bow while well, it ties up. So right here and here, right in the center, and draw these two little ovals. And we're gonna bring in the tail of our bow. I don't know if you call this a bow. Do you call this a bow? <laughs> okay, I'll just leave it as that, just to make it simpler. And then we're going to add another band right here. And then connect at the bottom. It's a pretty thick waist right there. Okay, so then from there, we can go ahead and start her skirt. So we're gonna just pop it out a little bit, not too much. and continue down. So let's bring this all the way down. Now I keep going a little bit more to about right here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and connect it with a soft curve. There. And then let's draw her legs. So nicely in the center, so say about right here. And here, I'm gonna go ahead and just part of her leg right here. We're just gonna angle this down thinner right here for her ankles. And then we're going to flare it out of a curve. And about right here where her heel would be, right here we're gonna curve in. There. So then you can come back right here and we're gonna draw a curve and then go up she is wearing heels. So let's do the same thing on this side. Down and about right here where her heel would be curve. Come down and then we're gonna curve it out. And connect. And once again, curve and then connect there. Okay, so then now let's draw her arms. I'm gonna come back right here and we're gonna poof it up just a little bit and come down. It's a little bit poofy, so I'm gonna use this as a, just to help out with the sleeves. A little bit poofy right here and connect. About right there and then this little part that comes out, just give it some curls, some curves I mean and then her hand. It's 
to thumb around her fingers. And you come right here and draw some little lines for some details. So same thing over here. Just poof it out. And come in a little bit and then come out. So once again, we're just gonna use this part of her jacket. And just wanna make sure I'm about the same on both sides. Poof it out and connect. And once again, that little white part that comes out and little ruffle and then her fingers. Thumb and go around. There. And same details. So then now let's go back to her outfit. Right in the center, we're going to draw where the buttons go. So right down the middle, two lines. And I'll just lightly put in three buttons and then some details right here on her jacket. as well and let's see and then on her skirt she has some pockets here i believe i'm just going to put in two pockets and then when you're coloring you can definitely put in the the pattern and some pleats right here there okay so then finally let's draw her hair so we're just going to keep curling it and so maybe right here you can put in a strand and then just bring it in. Same thing here. And just tuck it in. And let's see here. Can add a strand here for some details. But that is pretty much it for my drawing here of Nancy Wheeler from Stranger Things 4. I really hope you love how she turned out and that I helped you draw her fun and easy today. Thanks so much for watching and if I helped you, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Drawstick videos. See you later.